coming up next is the Northwestern Wildcats and Coach Chubbsman has suddenly taken on his former team, the UTEP Miners. As we'll get to see what they've got coming back. And we look at the tail of the tape here. Overall, we're looking good. We have better ratings than UTEP, but you never know. I mean, my time at UTEP, I won a few games I shouldn't have won. I lost a few games I shouldn't have lost. So you never know what's going to happen. And realistically speaking... There's really nothing else you can do. You see the UTEP intro tape looks pretty nice there. And the all-orange jerseys actually have new jerseys that look pretty nice for UTEP. So, yeah. They're coming out here. Nathan Jeffrey. Uh, the quarterback's name is Showers. He wasn't in the 2013 game. He might have been, but I probably cut him. I never played him. We got Jordan Leslie. Malcolm Trail. We got some weapons to play against some, f some familiar faces from last game and showers on the first. There we go. Malcolm Trail picking up some big yards there. 19 yards on his first reception of the game. Third down, five later. And the same drive, showers dropping back out to Patterson. That's another familiar name. Devin Patterson was my deep threat in a lot of games early in my coaching career. Now at Northwestern. We've got quite a weapon at quarterback. Yes, that's right. We've got Kane Coulter, and he knows how to play ball. And there we go. Kristen Jones knows how to play ball to a wide receiver, making another big grab all the way for a touchdown. First touchdown of the game, 73 yards for from Kane Coulter to Christian Jones, repping the black matte-type helmets and looking good. All right, so we came up with a big stop. From UTEP, now we, we got on the board, see if we get another stop, and showers the trail there, picking up uh, quite a few yards, second down, and 10 showers, he's going to keep this one, scramble around, pick up some big yards, and a first down, and a fumble, but Nathan Jeffrey recovers it, at the end of the first quarter, it's 7-0, to zero. so how about the college football opening weekend, huh? I mean, there were quite a few surprises out there, and the biggest one for me was Boise State, mostly because I'm a bo huge Boise State fan, and the way that they played against Washington, their offense lacked a lot of what they should have. The offensive coordinator play calling was not the best I've seen, but you know what? Washington was, has a fantastic team this year, and will be a contender for the Back 12 title if they continue playing like they did, and Boise has some... They know what they need to fix, and they've got a pretty easy game against, like against some FCS team, but speaking of FCS teams, they know how to play some football, how about North Dakota State knocking off Kansas State, Eastern Washington out of the big sky, taking scoring almost 50 points on Oregon State to knock down the 25th ranked team in the nation, so I mean it could have been worse for Boise State, I'm sure they got dominated, but at least they didn't give up 49 points to an FCS score, right? Especially when coming out of the Big Sky, which I guess the Big Sky has been known to be pretty successful. Eastern Washington won the FCS Championship a few years ago. Montana, out of that division a few years ago, was winning national championships left and right. But that's also full of teams like Idaho State, who haven't won a game consistently in like since like 2002. So it's been a while. But you know what? It's been a good weekend for those FCS schools. And if you, if you can't beat an FBS team, then don't schedule. Oh, a fumble again, but Jordan Leslie recovers that. So, yeah, a pretty good weekend of college football. Next week, hopefully, will be even better. I mean, we had some we had a heck, heck of a good slate of games this week. Fresno State versus Rutgers, that was an insane game. And then Clemson and Georgia. That was a heck of a game, too. That was very good. I didn't really watch that one. It was right in the middle of the Boise State game. That was a good one. TCU, LSU, that was a good game. Not LSU. Yeah. That's... Yeah. <laughs> I, I got mixed up because the promos were saying it's a game as big as Texas. But they were playing LSU and they are not in Texas. But, yeah. Anyway, so we had some really great games. Take a look at the offense at a glance. We're pretty even in terms of everything except for plays. We've been able to get in the end zone a lot quicker than UTEP has. And we're looking to keep that up. Kane Cole. Oh, dear. That's not good. An easy interception by the linebacker. He just let, he read that one correctly. 
And jumped out for a corner out to Christian Jones. Who gets in the end zone again, though? Coming right back out of the coming right back off that turnover. After holding the UTEP to only a field goal at halftime, it's 21 to 17 in favor of Northwestern. We've still got a good game. I mean, anything's possible. We saw that this past week in college football. The halftime stats were not running the ball like we'd ha like we'd like to run the ball out of this pistol formation, but we've passed the ball well and we're scoring quickly, which is good because I'm running kind of a no-huddle offense. I'm just not showing every play. So that's been good. The one turnover was that interception. We only gave up a field goal off that. So it's something we can live with, and I'm not terribly concerned about that turnover. Mostly because it was my fault. It was just a bad read on mine. It wasn't anything to do with Kane Coulter. Now that went that to Kyle Prater for 17 yards and a first down from Kane Coulter. Kane Coulter is a beast. I thought I'd just mention that. He is a great quarterback. I believe he's probably a senior as well as he plays for me, which stinks because I have to replace him. But hopefully he's a junior. I'm not sure. But UTEP getting the ball out to Jordan Leslie for 22 yards, 24-17 to 17 just sco score. And at the end of the third quarter... It's 24-17. Like I said, we're going into the fourth quarter. UTEP fans are still in this game with one of the bit with one of the better t Big 12 teams out there. They knocked off Cal last night. Well, I'm recording this on Saturday. It'll probably be put up on Monday, assuming that it's 10 o'clock my time. So anyway, fourth down and one. UTEP goes for it, and big old Gerald Ford gets Trey Ford. That Gerald's not his name. Pick up the first down, and Nathan Jeffrey finishing off with the three-yard touchdown run. We're all tied up at 24, ladies and gentlemen, with 4:03 remaining in this ball game. But Kane Coulter is one smooth, one smooth player, except for right there, throwing an interception to Miller, which sets UTEP up to do something like this on third down and 11, picking up a big 20-yard game with Jared Shaw, and. Then a pitch out to Nathan Jeffrey, who's just a beast. We all know it. He picks up the touchdown. Ten from ten yards out, thirty-one to twenty-four, and all of a sudden Northwestern's in big trouble with this conference USA team that we're supposed to be beating. Now let's take a look at the yards by the half. They are outgaining us by forty yards or so. We're definitely struggling, but Kane Coulter on the read option, picking up eight yards out of the pistol and an injury. And that does not look good. That is our Running back does not look good there. They had the trainers out, and he wasn't moving very much. Well, excuse me, I yawned there. So it's a little bit disconcerting. It's a little bit worrisome, actually. So fourth down, 11, Kane Coulter gets sacked. So here we go, 32 seconds remaining in this ball game. Kane Coulter, incomplete pass. We've got three turnovers. Luckily, we got... The turnover on down, or a punt with our three timeouts. Defense held up. Oh! And his time runs out. Kane Coulter. Way deep to Rashad Lawrence. Are you kidding me? We're still in this game. We're going to OT, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how the defense got that stop. I actually super simmed it because I thought the game was over. And I was angry about that. So I super simmed the defense so I don't have any coverage of that. But... On our first possession from overtime, Kane Coulter getting it into the end zone for a touchdown, making it 38 to 31. So all we need is a stop. That's all we need. Second down and 11. Showers keeping this one for himself, and he's going to pick up some big yards almost inside the five yard line, making up first down and goal for Showers on third down and goal now. Jeffrey's in motion. Showers dropping back to pass. He's looking, and that's Bell who's going to get pushed. Oh, he. He just ran out of bounds. He ran out of bounds. That makes it fourth down and goal from the, about the two-yard line. Fourth down and goal. Showers gets sacked. That's it. Jamel Showers is down. That's the game. Northwestern off of an impossible play pulls off the victory over UTEP. The UTEP Miners. This would go down as the number one game on my thing on my profile. Ken Coulter at 365 yards by himself. The rest of the team will definitely need him throughout this year. And if he is a senior, which I'm thinking he is, he's going to be very tough to replace. If he's younger than that, then I'm going to be very happy these next few years. Anyway, guys, I'm going to start uploading these videos a little bit more. This Dynasty series is a lot of fun to play, and I really enjoy it. So I'm going to start uploading this a little bit more. Subscriber Dynasty. 
will be up a little bit more too. That was not as fun because the team's already very good because I didn't have to recruit anybody. I just made them and made the players good. But that will be up there. I have one edited ready to go up. Probably the next video I upload will be that. So be ready for that. Anyway, your final score, 38-31, a big game by Northwestern. And I don't have the other game recorded, so I don't know who we're taking on next, but whoever it is should be a good game. I might actually go play it right now. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not done that already. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope, it's, I hope your day is great, because mine will be. And we'll see you guys next time.